Well, good morning. It's Friday, April the 17th. I'm Pastor Roddy Chesser with Open Door Family Fellowship in San Angelo, Texas, and we're doing some pandemic preaching this morning. 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Do you know that you're saved this morning? Do you know that you know that you know? You know, I grew up in a church, my old pastor, I think he had the longest finger in the world. He'd, he'd point that finger out there over the pulpit like that. He'd say, do you know that you know that you know if you were to die today that you'd go to heaven? You know, as a little boy, <clears throat> there came the day that in a Sunday school classroom, a lady asked that question. Do you know for sure if you died today, you'd go to heaven? And I said, no, I don't know for sure. I hope so. I want to but I don't know for sure. And she sat me down and she shared with me the message of Jesus. She told me that the Bible said all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And she explained to me that the wages of sin is death, but that God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And that if I would confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, that I would be saved. And whosoever called upon the name of the Lord would be saved. Well, I, I believe that. And that day in that Sunday school classroom, I called upon the name of the Lord Jesus. And, and John tells us, he says, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. Isn't that magnificent? The one thing that John says is necessary for you to know that you have eternal life is that you believe on the name of the Son of God. By grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And so, so he, he wants us to know. Now I want you to think about something with me for just a minute. Lots of people, if you were to ask them, do you know for sure if you died today that you'd go to heaven? They'll say, well, I hope so. I, I sure am trying hard. I'm being a good boy. I'm being a good girl. I go to church. I, I pay my tithe. I do this. I do that. I got baptized. I catechized, circumcised, some kind of eyes. Listen to me. You know, that's just like me saying, boy, I hope the Washington Nationals win the World Series. <laughs> if I were to say that right now, you'd say, well, uh, Roddy, they, they already did win the World Series last year, last fall, matter of fact. They won, they're the champs. You see, the game has already been played. It would be foolish for me to be hoping for something that's already happened. You see, when Jesus died on the cross, he said it is finished. And John tells us right here, these things are written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that you have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. Do you know that you have eternal life? You can know that you have eternal life if you believe on the name of the Son of God. If you have a doubt or a question in your mind you need to get out your Bible and you need to begin to do a study. You need to read through the New Testament and see what it says. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, the Bible tells us. We are saved by God's grace through faith in Jesus. And you can know for sure. The only way that you can know for sure is if it's a done deal. That means that, that the moment that you believe on the name of Jesus, God gives you eternal life, not temporal life, eternal life. And you are kept by the power of God and no one can snatch you out of the Father's hand. Now, I want you to know for sure that you have eternal life. Won't you call on the name of the Lord Jesus? If you have never trusted in Jesus, now is the day of salvation. This is the time. Call on his name and trust in him. God bless you. I love you. I hope you have a great day.